Hello, my beautiful people. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Today is another beautiful day, one of the days that God has made. And I'm so grateful to God that I have seen today. This is another Christmas. Remember, Christmas comes once in a year. And so we are very grateful that we have seen this Christmas. So also is you. You have to thank God. I thank God for your life and everybody that is around you. We are still in the festive period and so I am going to prepare Okana. So you are going to learn how to prepare Okana. That is my language anyway, Okana. In Igbo language, they call it Uba and that is what we know as African salad. In my previous video, I have shown you how a woman is cutting the raw okana or oil bean. And so I am going to show you how you can prepare okana or African salad in a very remarkable way such that it will be very, very sweet. After preparing okana or uba, or you so call it African salad, you can use it to entertain your guests. You can use it to entertain your family members and those that you love, especially your son-in-law. So, come with me as I'm going to show you all the ingredients that you need to prepare this delicious okana, African salad or uba. These are the necessary ingredients that you need to prepare a delicious okana. African salad or uba. This is okana. I have shown you in my previous video how this okana is being processed. And so this is the after washed of the processed okana. This is how it looks like after slicing it raw. They will boil it, slice it, and then soak it in water a day after they wash it out. And so this is how it looks like. This is cassava. This thing is called abacha. In my language, we call it afiaiwa. I have made a video on how to process fresh cassava and get this afiaiwa. So, this is what I'm going to add to this okana so that it can become very delicious. The essence of adding this afiaiwa to this okana is so that it will be plenty. Since the okana don't used to be plenty and it's very expensive and so a fewa is always added to it so that the quantity will be much i also have here cow foot i have washed it properly sauce and steam it and so it is good to go it's optional anyway if you don't have it you can do without it you also need nkongnya this is nkongnya that is garden egg leaf so this is garden egg leaf. In the absence of utazi, then you can make use of this garden egg leaf. You also need stockfish. And so here I have a stockfish. I have washed it properly. You also need garden egg to add to this uba. This is limestone. We call it akang. You also need some seasoning cubes. You equally need ikbaina, cow skin or bomo. This is onions. I'm going to use this to steam the meat while I'm going to use this to garnish the okana. You also need palm oil. This is fresh pepper. If you don't have fresh pepper, you can as well make use of dry pepper. And you also need salt to taste. So these are all the necessary ingredients that you need to prepare a delicious okana or African salad. The first thing you need to do after processing all your ingredients like this, we are going to cook our stockfish along with the goat's leg, including the pomo. And so that is what we are going to do now. With your pot on the fire, you need to add your stockfish. You need to add your goat's leg and also ikbaina, pomo or cow skin. You need to add your chopped onions. 
and also add your seasoning cubes. Remember, you have to steam this meat properly. You have to add salt as well. Once you've added salt, the mortar that I used to pound the fresh pepper, I have to rinse it and then put it inside. And that is the water that I'm going to use to steam the meat. So I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for 20 minutes until the stockfish is soft. While the stockfish is cooking, I have to pluck the garden egg leaf and also cut this nya or garden egg itself. This is how to remove the garden egg leaf. You have to pick it one after the other. Remember I've told you that in the absence of utazi, that is why I'm using this garden egg leaf. Meaning that you can use this garden egg leaf if you don't have utazi. The only difference is that the garden egg leaf is not bitter. Whereas the utazi is a bitter leaf. So it's very bitter and it's good for the body. You can slice this garden egg to your choice size. You can slice this garden egg to your desired size. After cutting the garden egg and the garden egg leaf, we are going to mix the oil and the akam, that is the potash. This is the limestone or potash. In my language, we call it akam. Whenever you want to use it, you have to soak it into water. But this one is very hard. It's a very strong one and so I have to use mortar to beat it before adding water and sieve it out. Once you are finished, you have to add a little water and then sieve it out. Yes. After sieving it, you need to add some salt. And also add one seasoning cube. And then add palm oil and stir it. Back home, this is what we normally do to use it and eat with Eri Taiwa. We call this Uya Rotong. See that it's becoming thicker. So this is the sauce that we are going to add to the Okana after we have cooked the meat properly and then mix it. So we have to go back to the meat on the fire. Yes, this is our meat on the fire, still cooking. You can see that the water is dried. We are still going to allow it to dry more. Once you've finished with the mixing of the palm oil and akam, that is the limestone, you need to soak the afiaiwa into water. If you don't soak it into water, it will not be able to blend. So it has to be soaked so that it will be soft. the meat has cooked well, you need to add your pepper and then give it a good steam. We have to cover it and allow it to cook for three minutes. Yes. Once you've added water, you need to remove it and allow the water to drain. You need to allow the water to drain and that will take just one minute. Wow! The meat has cooked properly and so I'm going to put it down and then mix my okana. After removing it from the fire, I'm going to mix all the ingredients. 
I'm going to add the abacha or afiaiwa. Once you've added your afiaiwa in the pot, you need to add your kana. This ukana is going to be very delicious. You need to add your garden egg. You can chop the garden egg to the size that you want. You have to add your onions. And then you have to add your mixture. This, so you need to mix it up and then add it. This is going to give you a very nice taste. After that, you have to turn it properly and allow it to mix. Remember, whenever you want to prepare uba, you must use a pot that is bigger or wider so that you'll be able to turn it when you're adding your ingredients. After mixing all properly, you need to test for salt. Mmm! This is delicious. Everything is okay. I don't need to add salt anymore. It is a choice. If you like to add your garden egg leaf now or whenever you want to eat it, it is your choice. For me, I don't want to add it now, so I will add it when I dish it into a plate. I'm going to save. Once you've dished it into a plate, that is when you're going to add your garden egg leaf. I hope you have seen how I prepared this delicious okana. African salad or uba. African salad is easy and fast to prepare. You can prepare this at home for your family. If you love this video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to share the video with your family and friends. See you in my next video. Bye.